It's a familiar scene, both on TV and in real life. Hello! What? Now I'm in the supermarket looking for yuckers! Even more exasperating yuckers! when they're supposed to be speaking to yeah. you. Hello! What? No, I'm doing a thing for Sky News! Sky News! No, they're rubbish! Yeah, yeah, ciao! But when you go up to the checkout girl, that's someone you're talking to. And I think you do need to show them a bit of respect. Although, oddly, supermarkets and big companies don't show us any respect. However, so ubiquitous, so essential have our phones become that mobile etiquette isn't exactly clear as a bell. At the end of the day, everyone uses their phone 24 7, so therefore, like, they're customers. They're coming into your shop for a reason, so you, you serve them. Yet, there are situations in which it's generally considered bad form to use your mobile. And there are those where it's entirely inappropriate. Mobile phones have obviously come about very recently, and we are even still now, in 2013, finding our feet with what is acceptable and what isn't. Obviously, in, in the etiquette books, we know exactly how, how we should eat, but with mobile phones, there is very little in writing. We have to use our own common sense. We are becoming ever more attached to our mobiles, so we'd best quickly agree on what's acceptable before the phrase nuisance calls comes to mean something entirely different. I mean, I'm always on my phone. When I go shopping, I'm on the phone. When I'm at the petrol station, I'm on my phone. It depends on uh, whether they were refusing to show respect to the person who was supposed to be serving them. I think it depends. And if someone was to come to your business and like, not talk to you, it's a bit rude, isn't it? Well, it'd stuff me in my business. <laughs> Sainsbury's has, of course, issued a full apology for its employees' behaviour, which might have a little to do with the fact that on Monday they launched their own mobile phone service. These devices permit you to be contacted wherever you are and whatever you're up to, but it's down to the individual to decide whether to make or take that call. Neil Patterson, Sky... Hold on a sec. Mum, Mum, I told you never to call me at work. Hold on a sec. Neil Patterson, Sky News, London. I told you about this a hundred times. 